cosplay. Ah, the science behind cosplay is very mysterious and magical. The types and colors have confused and enchanted scientists all over the nation for years. Some say it might even be a supernatural phenomenon. No, Mabel. It is. Yes, it is, Amber. <clears throat> cosplay has been used for many generations to bedazzle everyone. Even before Mabel was was invented. Yeah, you're living out in Janice there, Belle. Keep the history alive. Woo! Ugh. Mabel, again, it was not. Did you even do any research before getting up on the stage? Like, you know, picking up a book on the subject? Of course I did. And then Waddle said it. Silly piggy wiggy. He probably thought it was edible. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Anyways, I have a show to run here. Anyways, back to us up there. We have noticed many types of cosplayers, like the cool cosplayers, or the pretty sparkly cosplayers, you know, my favorite. And then there are the sad guy or girl cosplayers. Well, we never know. Magic indeed. And the best part is, most are totally bad at making their own stuff. Like, they're totally exploiting good old Mr. Roy G. Biff there, and I'm not talking about skills, if you know what I mean. Are you literally referring to Miss Rainbow's now? 